G'day guys, now don't freak out, but I've got the Ace Beam E75 for review. Let's check it out. Alrighty, here it is up close. Now, before we go over the light, let's just check the contents of the box. So here we have your Ace Beam warranty card. You will only get this warranty card if you buy from authorized dealers or Ace Beam uh, Direct. I strongly suggest staying away from gray markets. Now, the lanyard, very, very good quality lanyard. Just picking it up, immediately you can feel this is good quality. And the stopper has left nice indents on the lanyard itself, meaning strong hold the stopper has. Decent size as well, could be a little bit long, but all in all, Great, great lanyard. Here we have a USB-C and USB-A charging cable, which goes in here. Now, this depth of an onboard charging system is bloody beautiful. It is just so deep, protects it so well, and look at that lip there on the rubber seal. You can push that down, which by the way, slots in ever so nicely, and look at that, flush as anything. You will also get a spare rubber seal, holy moly, and two spare O-rings. Thank you very much, Ace Beam. And last but not least, you have your E75 user manual. Down here, as you can see, it says I got the high CRI 519A, so Nietzsche 519A uh, emitters, 3000 lumens. Now, one thing just to note is that uh, the box, the feel of the box is really cool. It's got this like waxy feel. Uh, so don't know, don't know why they did that, but I love it. I'm all for it. It's like this smooth waxy feel. Feels really, really cool. Okay, now installation of the battery. You undo the tail cap. There is a uh, spring down there and very, very, oh, very powerful magnetic tail cap. Probably the most powerful I have used so far. Now that the battery is installed, let's go over the uh, the light, shall we? So right at the head here, you've got this beautiful stainless steel bezel, which just not only adds a tactical feel to it, but also adds a great deal of uh, protection, I feel, if you're going to drop the light. So very, very happy with this bezel. Really love it. Now, down the face there, you will see four 519A high CRI LEDs. They will give out a maximum output of 3,000 lumens, and they are in neutral white, uh, which is putting out 5,000K. Very, very nice to see. Now, the neck here, you've got some heat sinks on either side. You've got your screwed-in pocket clip, which I will go over, and here is your uh, side switch. Now, clicking that on, there's your battery level indicator. So these green lights all indicate that the battery is above 20%. If the light goes red, it's between 20 and 10%, sorry. And then if the light flashes red, it's uh, below 10%. But I just have a rule. If you got steady green, you're good to go. Anything else apart from steady green, just charge it. It's that simple. Single click off. Now the body, really, really nice. I love that it's got smooth, textured, smooth, textured. Really, really nice uh, nice body. I do wish it had some rubber rubber on either side because that would help with heat when we, uh, when we have it on turbo for a long time, but uh, we'll do a heat test anyway. You do have your spot for a lanyard right here. And as I said, one of my favorite things about this light is the pocket clip. Not only is it sturdy as all hell, but it is screwed on, so it's absolutely bulletproof, not going anywhere. I think you need a Torx T5 or T6 to unscrew it, not hard to find, uh, but it's great because it is reversible as well. So you can notch this onto your hat or, and look, it is a bit heavy, but you can do it. Uh, or you just got the option of lens up or lens down. You know, if, you, if you're notching this onto a bag, lens up's probably the way to go. You just grab it, bang, good to go. Uh, in your pocket, I prefer lens down. It's not deep, deep carry in the pocket, but still it's only exposing the tail caps, not, not a big issue. All right, now from head to tail, this light comes in at 129.6 millimeters. Tail cap comes in at 28.07 millimeters. Body, 26.63 millimeters. And the head comes out at 34.93 millimeters. Now the weight of this light with the battery and pocket clip also included is 215.58 grams. So it's a stocky light, it's a heavy light. 
uh, but it's a goodie, man. But wait till you see the night shots. It is a goodie. Now, let's just go over the UI so I can show you what this thing can do. So from off, press and hold. You have right there your lowest, lowest output of moonlight mode, which is one lumen. One lumen will last for 26 days, believe it or not. Now, turn it off, turn it back on. No memory mode for the moonlight mode. So that's important. But from moonlight mode, if I press and hold, it will cycle. So the next output is low mode. Now, low mode will be memorized. Low mode is 30 lumens. You'll get that for two days and 12 hours. Cycling up is medium one, and it's just a press and hold. That is uh, 150 lumens for 16 hours. Cycling up again is medium two, which is 450 lumens for four hours and 40 minutes. Cycling up again is high. High has a thousand lumens to start, and that's for an hour and 45 minutes, which is just amazing. Then it drops down to 150 lumens for an additional hour. And then cycling up again, ah, that's right. So cycling again brings it down to low. So in your cycle option, you've got low, mid one, mid two, and high, that's it. But if you want turbo, double click, and there you have your 3000 lumen turbo output. That will last for only one minute, but then it drops down to your 1000 lumen output for an additional hour and 40 minutes. Then it'll drop down to 150 lumens for an additional hour. So the 3000 lumen burst you will get for a minute, but it's gonna get hot. So that's why it needs to step down. Now, if I triple click, one, two, three, you've got 2400 lumens of strobe, but then after 15 minutes, it'll drop down to 1000 lumens for three hours. Why on earth you would need strobe for 15 minutes is beyond me, but that's what they've done. Now this light is IP68, which means it is two meters water submersible and impact resistance of 1.5 meters. So you can drop this from a meter and a half and it should be good to go. Now I forgot to mention that the battery they are using is a 5,000 milliamp hour, 15 amp, 21700, 3.6 volt battery. It is a button top, it is a protected cell, it is a lithium ion battery, just be careful with them. All right, heat test time. Turbo, let's go. Here we go, 54.5 degrees Celsius. Now, how does it feel? Well, the head's definitely hot. Yeah, don't wanna to touch anywhere near the head. The side switch is fine, absolutely usable. The pocket clip's getting a little bit warm down here, but not, not like I can't hold it. The body is getting a little bit warm, not uncomfortably warm, but it is getting warm. Where the heat sinks are is not too bad at all. And again, side switch is staying good. So look, it's not too bad. I know it got above 50 degrees, but it's not too bad. I can still hold it, can still use it. So that's nice. Now, if we just cycle to the lowest, so that's the beam shot for the lowest there. There it is there, cycling up. So check it out, you've got a really, really nice hot spot, but then as soon as you move it away, the hot spot still stays defined, but look, it really gets milky into the into the spill, which is good to see. It's what you really want in an EDC light, you know? You don't really want just a hot spot and spill. You kind of want it to, to morph into the bleeding so that you've got more, more spectrum of light for whatever you're pointing. So I like that. All right, let's go outside, see how this does in the darkness, and then we'll come back for some final thoughts, prices, and where to buy. See you in a sec. Beautiful. I love this light. I just love this light. Let's go over to the wall. Step up. Step up. Look at that. Sensational. And will it step up again? It will. Look at that. Love this color. And then double click and that's turbo there. Whoa. Nice. The color is just killing me, man. It's amazing. This is my preference. 5000K with 90 CRI is just beautiful. They have outdone themselves with this. And then one, two, three, yucky. Off, on, double. 
Okay, back to turbo. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And it's not getting too hot. I mean, it is a cold night, but it's not getting too hot at all. All right, I better go, but that is awesome. See ya. All right, so final thoughts. Well, this is a beast. Absolutely love it. Uh, the high CRI option in this light is just genius, so I'm very, very happy they did that. Comes in a few colors, which is cool too, but the, the, the robust feel of this light is what I'm mostly drawn to. Side switch feels bulletproof. Pocket clip definitely feels bulletproof. The magnet is unbelievable. That is a heavy light. Over 200 grams of light is being held horizontally by that magnet. Fantastic. Uh, what else? The bezel, just brilliant. Stainless steel bezel makes it really, really tough. Uh, and I love that it's in black too. Uh, really like the battery level indicator as well. It's very, very clear. So you're not going to be guessing what, what your battery's up to. Uh, didn't get too hot in the hand, which was nice. The head did though, so beware of the head, but the body and side switch were fine. Like the fact you can remove the pocket clip, love the onboard charging. Now, I'm not an onboard charging advocate. I'm not really sold on this whole plug your light in uh, into the wall. I'd prefer to pull the battery out, to be honest. However, having such a deep onboard charger like this, having such a snug fit with the uh, rubber seal, and having a spare rubber seal, okay, I'll cop that. It's not too bad at all. Uh, look, I think that's basically it. Now, you can buy this from Ace Beam Direct. Uh, I will link it in the description. And as soon as this comes uh, available at lightshop.com.au, I will link it also at Lightshop. Uh, and I will link discount codes as well. So just hold out for that uh, if you guys are in Australia. Otherwise, anyone abroad, just go straight to Ace Beam. I do not support grey markets and things like that. Too much stuff goes wrong and it just, you know, warranties are iffy and I'm just not about it. So authorised dealers are the way to go. All right. Thanks very much for watching. And until next time, stay cool and stay safe. See ya.